everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4, The Green Family Legacy. And we are here with Generation 3, Little Fern. Look at those cheekbones. Oh my gosh, she definitely has her dad's cheekbones. And then some. She's kind of, yeah, wow, Fern. But she is outside proving she has some of her grandmother in her by coming out to play with the cow plant. And I hope it doesn't eat her. I really hope that cow plants can't really eat kids. But I think it'll be, oh my gosh, did you see that? I don't think I've ever seen its mouth open up that big but I think it'll be safe it just seems like the little one is having some fun she wants to enthuse about the outdoors she wants to be friendly with her grandma Iris so I might have her come inside Iris why are you in your panties why why is why is this grape on the floor what, what's what's going on in here oh my gosh there's grapes everywhere Iris what's going on here you have a grape and have this flower there we go okay there's lots of uncooked food Okay, this is fine. I have no idea what's going on here, but I'm not going to question it. But yes, we are back with the Green family. I guess I'm going to have to have them clean that up manually. And Pine is at back home. He just got back from work. I believe we followed him to work. And he has been promoted, you guys. Woo! He is now finally an RN, which means a registered nurse. And he finally snagged that promotion that we were working so, so, so hard to get. And I wanted to take him and the family to the park tomorrow, a nice Saturday afternoon park trip. But it looks like we're going to have to go to the park tonight because he actually works in the morning. So we're going to try to speed things along. Um, get him. We'll, we'll make a grill. We'll grill something out there. We'll let him finish showering. And then we'll have the family. What's Devin doing? She's critiquing the artwork. All right, you come in. Come in and be friendly to your grandma over here. Brighten her day. Joke about not what she's enthused about the outdoors. These two are being flirty pants. But yeah, we'll have the little family go out. So I've been thinking we could decorate in here in Little Fern's bedroom with pictures of her friends and her family when they're out and about. So we'll take lots of pictures uh, with her little camera when we get to the park today. So I think this is going to be fun. Oh, and Pine is done. He's feeling energized. He wants to level up his logic skill. He wants to enthuse about his interest to someone. So let's see. He's really hungry, but I think we will let the family... Let's have him travel to the park, and I think we'll let the grandparents stay. But that just seems like something Fern would want to do. He loves the outdoors, even though he his good heart makes him want to work as a doctor. And now that Fern is finally old enough to be able to go to the park, I could see how he would want to take Fern and Devin to the park. So let's head off to the park and see what the family thinks of their nice afternoon out together. Here we go. All right, Magnolia Blossom Park. Oh, look, she changed into her little dress that her grandma got her, her little cow plant print dress. That is so cute. Oh, and Fern's so happy to be here. She wants to enthuse about the outdoors and tell a joke. So let's have her turn around. She can do that with her mom real quick. Joke about teachers. She's like, I don't know what a teacher is. This is a giant bug. She hasn't, she hasn't gone to school just yet. And then we're going to have Pine come over. And we'll have him come to a clean table and grill up some fried fish grilled fruit maybe. Let's have him grill up some shish kebabs. Because I think that would be a good thing for the family to eat tonight. Alright, there you go, Pine. And Devin's in her athletic clothes because they're comfy. Uh -huh. Oh, see, I was just joking about her teachers being a giant spider. And sure enough. Oh, look at them. They really do look like mother and daughter, don't they? Oh, Devin, what do you think about your kidlet? She wants to meet someone new, use the observatory, level up her writing skill. Oh, and she wants to get to know her mom. Oh, become best friends. That's so cute. Oh, she's turning out to be such a cute kid. Oh, look at this. And there's other kids in the background. Oh, my gosh. Fern, you might meet some other children and have a good time at the park. Oh, that would be so exciting. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh. All right. Well, we'll have her get to know her mom in a little bit. And we'll have her come over and maybe chat with some of the other kids. Oh, Someone's wearing a cool hat. Somebody is wearing a cool hat. Let's come over and talk to... What's this kid's name? Talk to... Friendly introduction. Who are you? Alexander. Alexander with the cool hat. All right. We can totally do that. And Devin, why don't you go ahead? Oh, Pine's already made the food. Yay! 
We'll have we'll have her come over, grab a serving. All right, you come here, grab a serving, so you're not starving to death. And we'll see what they think about spending the day at the park as a family. And there's an alien. Oh, that's the alien. This is Kai. This is the alien. Or Key. This is the alien that um, actually smooched around with Alia. So ooh, we might challenge him to a little logic skill because that's what Pine wants to do is level up his logic skill. And become friends with his uh, co-worker, Heaven. Let's see. Ew. Can we like... Yes, we can throw away... Aw, oh, dang it. Pine, what are you doing? Here, eat your shish kebabs. And Fern just gained the creativity skill. What are you doing? You're cloud gazing with your mom. You two are so silly. Talk about dreams with your mom. I guess they didn't want to like... Here, come and eat. I guess they didn't want to just like hang out with the other kids. All right, well, we'll let the family come all eat together. I think that sounds like a good idea. There we go. That's more like it. And there's kids here. Oh, wow, and there's lots of cloud gazing people. Watch out, Fern. She's like trying to step around them. Oh, what a fun day at the park. I should have brought Devin's um, yoga mat. That would have been a smart thing to do. We'll bring it next time, Devin. And there you go, guys. All right, so let's see. Let's try. All right, let's see. Get to know your mom. And you, sir, want to do push-ups, which is fine by me. No, don't do push-ups right now. Sit down and talk with your family. Pine, where are you going? Oh, he wants to sit next to his daughter. That's cute. Aww. They, they, I can't help it. Pine still just feels so young to me. I don't feel like he has his kid here. I feel like it's just he's brought one of his siblings over. I know that's not the case, but, oh man. See, we're not going to buy an instrument right now, sweetie. And she wants, man, she is just feeling like musically inspired right now. What do you think, little fern? Oh, she wants to meet someone new! That's so exciting! And she wants to talk about her dreams with someone! Well, when she finishes eating, we'll send her off to play with one of the kids. Alright, and meanwhile, Pine, do you really want to do some push-ups? I mean, if you're for real, like, come over here, try out some push-ups. Oh my gosh, look at Carla! <laughs> She's like, nobody cleans up this park. I have to do it. Look at look at how disgusting and messy this park is. That's amazing. Well, good citizen Carla. You've earned some like kudo points for doing that. Thank you. Alright, and Devin. Yeah! Devin oh okay. Nope, never mind. She just like threw him on the ground. Devin, why don't you go ahead, take care of your bladder need? And Fern. Time to introduce you to some new kids. Here's a kid wearing a cool jacket, and his name is Simon. So let's go meet him. Hopefully we can make a new friend for her before she starts school. That would be really cool. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's Zoe. Oh, so, so. Um, Let's see, give fake bad news, brighten her day. Zoe, what you doing here? Discuss world peace. It's your aunt. Um... Why not give a pep talk? Play together. Alright, come on. Where are you going, Pine? He's like, I'm going to sit down while I chit-chat to my aunt. Zoe, I didn't even recognize her for a minute because she's an elder now, so that's kind of funny. Alright, how's this going? Why, hello there, Simon! It's very nice to meet you. Oh, these kids are so cute. Oh, there's so many angry people stomping around the park today. Oh, they're talking about mermaids and things. That's so cool. Let's talk about our dreams. And talk about toys. Let's see. Uh, cloud gaze? I guess they could cloud gaze if they wanted to. There goes an alien, by the way, guys, just so you know. Enthused about candy. Um, ask to cloud gaze. Why not? There goes another angry person. So many angry people. There we go. So they're enjoying kind of playing chess. Devin, what are you doing? Devin's cleaning the park bathrooms. 
Good, Citizen Devon. I guess that's that's true. If you want to keep your wellness skill well developed, you would want to like help out keeping the park clean. Didn't really see her spending her time doing that, but there we go. Let's see. Can I get her observatory? If that went away. Oh, if she wants to read a book. Oh, did we bring a book to read? Chasing the Quadruple Rainbow, which is a child's book. Does fur or does Pine happen to have anything she could read? Handiness Volume 2. Let's see, there's Cooking Volume 2. Darn. So we don't really have anything for her to be able to read right now. Oh, but she gets to chat with it. Arian Ar uh, Adriana. Good, that's what we want. We're going to hang out with some of her friends. That should be a good thing to do here at the park. As soon as your friend shows up. Is Ariana one of your friends? Let's see. Brooke is actually quickly becoming a friend. Her yoga buddy friends. Oh, yeah. Carla. Oh, Clive apparently passed away. Oh, is that Brooke? Oh, no. I was going to say, geez, she lost quite a bit of weight. But no, that's Camille. Oh, and check this out. Seahorses and ants. I love kids' imaginations. So it looks like little Fern is making friends very easily. And I thought she would be more kind of tomboyish and not want to wear her dress. But she put it on all on her own. And she actually wants to play a music instrument. So maybe she'll learn how to play some music instruments the way that uh, her Aunt Holly did. So maybe we'll have some sort of relationship going on with Aunt Holly and little Fern in the future. That'd be really fun. What? I didn't tell you you could do this. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. That's fine. And he wants to upgrade an object. Level up his logic skill. That's hilarious. Everybody's just like staring at the stars. And then Devin's like cleaning and washing dishes. Well, geez, Devin, if this is like how it's gonna be, just go ahead and repair the park toilet, why don't ya? I'm, I'm not gonna question it. She just really wants to- maybe she's doing some volunteer work. Maybe we could figure that out. Oh, that could be part of her wellness ideas, you guys. Devin could start a new initiative to start doing like volunteer programs throughout the, the community. I like that idea. Alright. Oh, and why is my child being talked to by an alien? Alright. Okay. So, Carol Lucy. Fern? Oh. Sweetie? I know you just discovered an alien. I think it's probably a good thing, maybe, if your parents were present. Pine, Pine, you know, I know you're having a good time hanging out with your aunt. Could you, could you come over and like monitor this, uh, let's do friendly introduction, monitor this conversation before your child gets abducted? That would be a plot twist, all right. Oh, now, why are you embarrassed? Oh, he's a teenager. Probably he's embarrassed he was found out to be an alien. Alright, there we go. There we go, Pine. He's creative and serious. And we're going to keep an eye on him. Share astronomy knowledge, why not? Um, there we go. And Devin acquired the handiness skill. And now they're stargazing! <laughs> Actually, stargazing with an alien would be really fun. Okay! Well, today definitely hasn't gone the way I thought it would. So we have now had Devin go ahead and she's just decided to clean pretty much the entire park. And that's, that's more than a little bit amazing. And Fern is feeling super confident from having met an alien, actually. So she's peeing like a champion, which amuses me deeply. And she wants to befriend a child and also be friendly with her mom. So let's go ahead, wash hands. This is a very fancy park bathroom, by the way. You know, even even though we have people, slobs kind of sleeping in the bathroom. That's fine. I'm sure this is fine. All right. And Devin, we're going to go ahead and have you actually talk with your daughter for a little bit. So be friendly to Devin. Let's come over. Let's give her a hug. Be like, Mom, you won't believe it. Tell an unbelievable story. I just met an alien. It was really interesting. Oh, we forgot to take pictures together. Lena. Oh, I should have done that. I totally just didn't even think about that. She's like, Mom, you won't believe it. Aliens. Darn, I totally forgot about the picture idea. She could be like, yeah, my dad met an alien. I wonder, does she have a little camera? She has 
do the kids come with the little camera? I don't remember. Yeah, right here. Let's see. Plan social event. Take photo. So I want her to come over and take a photo of this right here. Of her dad hanging out with an alien at the park. Because I think that... In fact, if she started collecting pictures of the aliens throughout the entire world that she runs into, that would be very interesting. Alright, so we'll let her do that. And she's getting a little tired. Oh, because it's almost freaking midnight, so it's about time to send the kids home. She's got a great relationship with her her mom. Alright. Whoops. Oh, and we need to actually... Oh, 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 look. Oh, we can take a picture of her mom. That is awesome. There. Okay, we got a little picture of her mom. Which is fantastic. Oh, that's so exciting. D is it in your little inventory? It is in her little inventory. <gasps> Let's have her run out and take a picture. Oh, we could. Oh, we're gonna have her do that. We're gonna have little fern take pictures of like the flowers and take picture. Take a picture of her dad. I swear, Pine does not look old enough to be a dad. <laughs> no, Pine. You need to hang out with the alien still. Alright, are you saying goodbye? Alright, he's saying goodbye. Alright, well, Fern, that's okay. Here, Fern, run over here. Run over here. If you go here really quickly, then I think we can still get a picture of him. Alright. In fact, this would actually be kind of cute, just like a little kid, to be like, take photo. Alright, hurry, Fern. Alright, and... We need to move the photo around. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. We still need to take a photo. Still need to take a photo. Take a photo. And let's see. Aha, there we go. Ah, oh, that's actually pretty awesome. Because think about it. That's totally the way like a little kid would take a picture. Uh, turn off flash. Switch orientation. What's this? Show filters. Na, 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 na. It's an alien! Look at him! Oh, actually, that one's pretty good. Alright, there we go. That's totally the way I think a little kid would take pictures of, like, an alien that they saw. Oh, and I think her finger was in front of it! Oh, that's even funnier! Alright, and then, is there, like, any pretty... pretty fireflies or pretty night scenery around here? Oh, she could take a picture of her dad reading. That would be really cute. Alright, let's have her run over here. Fern, this is going to be so much fun working with you, getting your little creativity skill going. And look how confident she's feeling. She's like, yeah, I bet her grandma gave her this camera. That totally would be a thing that her grandma would do. <laughs> that sounds like an iris thing. All right, and let's go ahead. Whoops, nope, we still need to, still need to move it around. All right, rah. Okay, let's try again. Take photo. We're going to take a picture of your dad. Reading right there. Oh, there he is. Good job. Alright, so right there. And boom. And did we get that one? I hope we got that one. We got that one. Alright. So there we go, you guys. Let's send them home now. And then we can put the pictures up on the wall. Because I think she's had a very good day. Both her parents, I think, have decided to read or not. What's going on with Kyle over here? Apparently a very offensive conversation. Alright, Kyle. Yeah, no. He's feeling flirty, and he's totally offended Devin, so I don't think Devin... Devin's ready to go. She's not having any of this. All right, so let's send the family home, and I will see you guys there in just a moment. All right, and the family is home! So let us send our little fern into her bedroom, which is going to be really cute. I feel like now that we've actually had a day with her, we can definitely see some of her personality emerging, and it's quite different from what I thought it was going to be like, so I might have to redo her room a little bit. All right, come on, little fern. It is so past your bedtime. I'm not going to have more of these kids who stay up. Oh, she's so tired. She's just dragging her feet in here. Oh, we should, we should, let, her give, we should let her give Drago a little hug. In fact, I kind of want to rename him. Let's rename him something kind of cute. Let's rename him... Um, let's see, something blue. Um, not Sapphire. Not Beetle? Maybe Beetle? No, not Beetle. Let's name him Wings, because he wants wings. So she has a little story about how her dragon Wings wants Aww. wings. Oh, and Grandma Iris has come on in. No, don't put away her toys, Grandma Iris, for crying out loud. Also, could you please put on some clothes, Iris? Oh my goodness, please. 
Thank you, Iris. All right, that's much better. All right, and then we're going to take out the pictures that Fern took when we were out and about at the park. And this is the start of it. Look at this. Look at the little pictures. There's her mom. Here's her dad. We're going to make sure they can go move objects on wherever we want them to go. All right, let's see. Whoops. I need to be able to move these around. Come on. Move objects on. There we go. That's better. Oh, look at this. So we can add a little frame. We can take away the little frame. We're going to leave the frame off right now because that's such a little kid thing. Oops, I accidentally blew it up. Didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Okay. Um, let's put it away. Take it back out. That's better. All right. So I kind of want to grab it. Can I move it around? Ah, you can't really move the, the pictures around the way I wanted to be able to do, but that's okay. All right, we'll just kind of put this here yeah, right there. And then her picture of the alien! The alien that got all smudged. Oh, I wish you could move these pictures around a little bit better. But there we go. There's the alien that she took a picture of. And there's a good start. And actually, I'm feeling like this kid... Now that we've actually had a bit of time to hang out with her and spend the day with her, she's a lot more social and friendly than I thought she would be. Um, because I thought she was going to be more of a loner. But no, she's pretty darn happy to actually hang out with people. So I'm actually going to swap her bed out. We're going to sell her cute little bunny bed. And we're going to go ahead and get her... Where's one of the normal kidlet beds? Let's see. I need surfaces. I need comfort. There we go, and a little kidlet bed right here with lots and lots of different colors to pick from. Hmm, not quite what we're going for. Actually, Bunny Dreams bed with the cow print. I think the cow print theme might be a thing that she enjoys. I really do. Can I change the color of the walls? Let's check. All right, so let's see. I want to make sure that Fern is comfortable and she can grow up super happy. Can I just change it to this color, like the rest of the house? Eh, why not? We'll go with that. There we go. And let's see, anything I can put on the walls in terms of decoration now? Because I feel like we're getting more, a, a lot closer to her personality. Like a lot closer to what this kidlet is actually about. And it's really cute. Um, let's see. Little gemstones. Maybe power wall decals. Are they all just gemstones? Oh, they're so cute! Why not? I'm sure she's a fan of a certain gemstone-related child's TV show. So we could put some of those up there. And then, oh my gosh, that's too big. <laughs> then mystery posters. Um, Let's see, a fawn clock for creepy crawlies. Oh, there's cute little, like, aw, there's cute little bug things. Oh, little gems! Um, let's see. Trees little spider decal. She seems like a kid who wouldn't mind a spider decal. That's actually really cool. Oh, and we can give her like a little a little herbalism decal. Oh, this is looking much more like a kid's room. You know, with the, the decals everywhere and it's not very artistic, but it doesn't have to be because it's supposed to be a little kid's room. Can I change? Let's try one more time on finding a actual, a uh, little too bright, too bright. Um, I'm finding a wall that might be good for her. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it like this. We'll work with the rest later. Lighting is always so weird here. Alright, that looks much more like a kid's room to me now. Alright, and go ahead, little fern, and off to bed you go. And, yeah, grandma and grandpa are super happy and ready to harvest and plant their garden. And fern is off to sleep. She's got new pictures up on the wall of her mom and her dad and her finger, which was supposed to be an alien. She's going to point at that picture with everybody and be like, it was pictures of an alien. And I'm really happy with how that went. So wonderful, you guys. So Mr. Pine has come up to do some researching all on his own in his free time. That's telling me that he is going to be taking his job as an RN, which starts tomorrow, very, very seriously. So I will see you guys tomorrow when we are at the hospital with Pine. And we'll see if we can get him promoted yet again, because I'm really hoping we can pull that off. We need to successfully diagnose and treat three patients and just really keep him keep him active, keep him working, see if we can get him promoted once again. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.